Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So, Apple Store is going to bring DeFi, yield farming, to Bitcoin and XRP. Not only Bitcoin and XRP, but other big cryptocurrencies as well. And this is via Kava. Harvest.io is Kava's new automated money market protocol. It's a little like AVE and Compound, but in Kava, it's designed to support assets beyond just Ethereum, such as Bitcoin and XRP. And obviously, those are number one and number three, so those are going to be the focus. Kava aims to make decentralized finance as safe and easy to use as apps on the Apple Store. The co-founder of Kava, a blockchain network focused on interoperability, wants to bring the trimmed haircuts, tucked in t-shirts, and it just works attitude of your local Apple Store to the world of DeFi. With the launch of one of its first DeFi protocols, automated money market Harvest.io, Kava founder Brian Kerr hopes to bring order to the chaos of DeFi market, as well as support for Bitcoin. Ripple's XRP and other assets besides just Ethereum. So DeFi refers to a slew of non-custodial financial products, most notably decentralized lending protocols. We all know what DeFi is. I don't have to go over this. Decentralized exchange and synthetic assets. Of course, right now there's about $9.7 billion worth of crypto locked up in DeFi contracts. Uh, Kava built on blockchain and blockchain's platform Cosmos, which is Cosmos, if you don't know, is an interoperability platform, is one of the several blockchains seeking to diversify DeFi beyond Ethereum. And DeFi definitely needs to be diversified beyond Ethereum because Ethereum can't scale. So, you know, the transactions cost way too much money and uh, most people will be locked out just by the transaction fees. And they're interesting, introducing Harvest.io, which is the wor world's first cross-chain money market built on Kava blockchain. Kava announced Harvest.io on Monday and will launch the product on October 15th. So mid-October, the product will actually be launched. So maybe DeFi will be filtering out of Ethereum and then all the protocols that support DeFi might actually get pumps as well. Harvest.io supports crypto loans and investments in liquidity pools, pools of money that ensure loans always have counterparties. It also rewards those that use the protocol with a governance token, HARD, which stands for Harvest Decentralized. Uh, Harvest.io appears very similar to Compound and AAVE, two decentralized lending protocols housed on Ethereum, only Harvest.io supports XRP and Bitcoin, as well as Binance's BNB and BUSD. So Bitcoin, XRP, and BNB are going to all get uh, a, a share of DeFi. In comparison, Ethereum supports the synthetic Ethereum-based representations of coins native to other chains, such as Bitcoin, through products like TBTC, RenBTC, and WBTC, but not the coins themselves. So it's kind of like wrapped. But Harvest.io's silver bullet is its permissioned blockchain. Occur tells Decrypt. Each application on Kava, so permission kind of means like sort of like private blockchain. Each application on Kava has been rubber stamped with, approve, with approval of the community. Though many of the major Ethereum protocols have been audited and vetted by the community, Ethereum houses many dangerous and volatile decentralized finance protocols. Many of them have not been audited, so that's where all those scams come from. So Kava is going to make a uh, basically DeFi available to other protocols, and it's going to audit the code to make it actually safer. This actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Really, really like Kava right now. I think it has really good um, opportunities in the future for its own coin to grow through these services. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.